One with the triforces, triforces with us. For one with the triforces, the triforces with us. For one with the triforces, the triforces with us. What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Brimesis, the powerful and wise. And today we'll be going over my top 20 Legend of Zelda themes. There is no way I could just make a list of the top 10. The songs are just too good, and as you'll soon see, any of these top 20 can make a run at the number one spot. The Legend of Zelda is the undisputed king of original video game music. If you disagree, it's okay, nobody cares, but keep watching this video anyway. And yes, it's true that there are plenty of other video game franchises with phenomenal music. However, I can't name a single one that has had an effect on the culture as much as The Legend of Zelda. There's definitely no other video game genre that has such a big impact on my life. The Legend of Zelda offers an outstanding variety of musical scores. The themes in this game are meant to have an emotional impact upon the player. All of these themes are very atmospheric. Many of them are intense or exhilarating. An equal amount of others are meant to be soothing and very emotional. As I did my other top 10 list, I will be noting multiple variations of themes whenever possible. Unless I deem that similar themes are so different that they need to be separate entries on the list. I also want to point out that this list will also feature songs that were officially produced by Nintendo and not this version of themes that were featured in the games. There will be times where I'll be silent during this video, so I can let you hear specific parts of the theme that I feel are most eventful. Snow Peak Snowboarding Theme I wasn't expecting this kind of theme from a Twilight Princess at all. In one part of the game, it makes you go all the way up on the Arctic Mountain that's completely devoid of life. Well, at least anything that is alive on the mountain is trying to kill you. The theme going up the mountain sounds dreary and cold, much like the atmosphere surrounding you. However, upon reaching the top of the mountain, you have to slide back down to reach one of the dungeons in the game, and you're treated with a delightful track that sounds like it could have came out of a Kirby game. This theme is very bright and colorful, but still has a winter wonderland feel to it. With all the shield surfing that you're doing Breath of the Wild, I'm disappointed that this theme did not get a remake. Faron Woods Twilight Princess Faron Woods is my favorite forest theme in all of Legend of Zelda. I'm talking about the Faron Woods theme in Twilight Princess, not the one in Skyward Sword. That theme from Skyward Sword isn't bad, but it was never made my top 20. The theme in Twilight Princess is just better in every way and is entirely majestic. The sequence you're about to hear is perhaps the illest I've ever heard in all of Zelda. Castle theme, The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Laurel Castle is one of the most unique castle themes in all of The Legend of Zelda. What's great about this theme is that it intensifies the deeper you go inside the castle or at least the higher you go in the castle. I'm not entirely sure, but just look for yourself to see exactly what I mean. I'm a big fan of themes that tend to evolve and elevate. Other than that, it's one of the least emotionally impactful themes on this list, which is why it's given a lower spot on my list, but it's still a great theme overall, and one of the best in this series. Hyrule Castle theme, Breath of the Wild.
Just another example of how Breath of the Wild is a great musical game when it wants to be. There are actually two parts of the Hyrule Castle theme in Breath of the Wild. The interior and the exterior themes. The interior is a remake of the Hyrule Castle theme from Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, but with a more horror movie-like feel. The exterior is much more intense and triumphant, and it reminds the player that you're somewhere completely different than anywhere else in the game, as far as danger goes and how high the stakes are. The music doesn't let up for a second, and neither does the enemies on the exterior of Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Field Theme, Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks is a sequel to Phantom Hourglass on the Nintendo DS. It's the only Zelda game where your main form of transportation is via train. Even though it was on the DS consoles, it's one of the very best open world themes in all of Zelda. Second best in my book. It has a very western feel and has slight variations depending on where you are on the Spirit Tracks. Its rendition that it got for the 25th anniversary of Legend of Zelda was absolutely phenomenal as well. I originally recorded this on camera, but the audio got messed up somehow. Fun but well-known fact, the Ballad of the Goddess theme is the Zelda lullaby theme played backwards and with an orchestrated overhaul. The Ballad of the Goddess theme is the main theme for The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. It's absolutely marvelous and fantastic. My issue with the Ballad of the Gods theme, along with many other themes from Skyward Sword, is that it's too underused. You only hear it about three or four times in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Another thing that was considered for this list from Skyward Sword, which was on this list earlier, was the Sky theme. I'm really glad that theme was in the game, however, I believe that the Battle of the Goddess theme should have replaced the Sky theme in Skyward Sword whenever riding on your loft wing. Take a look at this example. It gives you a much better sensation of flying than the sky theme that was used in Skyward Sword. Breath of the Wild main theme, Ganon Final Battle Theme. I'm sure there's plenty of you who are wondering why this theme is so low on this list, and I'll be happy to explain why. Pound for pound, I think that Breath of the Wild had the best themes in all of Zelda. The issue with Breath of the Wild is that you don't hear them for most of the game. Breath of the Wild had a lot of the same staff that was working on Xenoblade Chronicles X, which is a video game comparable to Breath of the Wild in size and format. There is not a single area in Xenoblade Chronicles where you don't hear music, and the music and that game could give The Legend of Zelda a good run for his money. Out exploring in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you usually hear emptiness. There are sometimes faint themes in the background, though it primarily classifies as just background noise as opposed to an actual theme. And this is very disappointing in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild because it is a franchise that basically birthed over war themes. Anyway, back to the main point. The Breath of the Wild main theme is no doubt phenomenal. When we were first introduced to it at E3 2016, it seemed more like a custom theme just for Breath of the Wild commercial at the Nintendo Direct. The musical score really matches what's going on in the actual montage, but for as great as the theme is, it is flawed. Yes, you heard me right, flawed. There's one gap in the middle of the theme when it makes the shift. When we 
you first heard the theme, you thought it was, for the, it was for the sake of the video, but we were wrong. Because this awkward gap is the same everywhere else, even in the game during a final battle with Ganon. And this is completely unacceptable. It's working! Because even the worst editors like myself could fix this flaw, so that's two strikes against this theme. They are too lazy to make this the overall theme in Breath of the Wild, and furthermore, they are too lazy to patch it up for the video game release. I'm sorry Nintendo, but we can't let you get away with that. I won't let you get away with that. Breath of the Wild story trailer theme. Remember when Twilight Princess was featured at E3 many years ago, and they borrowed the Conan theme for the trailer? Well, Nintendo released a similar trailer for the Nintendo Direct in early January 2017, a month and a half before Breath of the Wild was released on the Nintendo Switch and the Wii U. Only this time around, they came up with a whole original theme for the trailer and also featured this theme on the Breath of the Wild TV spot commercials. And somehow forgot to put this theme in the most practical spot of all, the game. This theme is absolutely brilliant. It's so intense and single-handedly captures the essence of Breath of the Wild even better than the Breath of the Wild main theme. It would have been absolutely perfect, as a matter of fact, more than perfect for a boss battle. If this theme was actually featured in the game, this would have took my number one spot on this list hands down. It could have been so easy, Nintendo. Next time you make a Zelda game, please hire me so mistakes like this don't happen again. Criminal, absolutely criminal. Zelda 2, the Adventure of Link dungeon theme. Only retro Zelda themes to make it on the list. But this is just one of the premium examples of how Zelda music is always ahead of its time. It's like the Kanye West of video game music. The dungeon theme was equally menacing and it was cool. It's really hard to describe and it's very unique amongst other Zelda themes from any Zelda game. It has tremendous buildup and once it reaches its climax, holy god. got a remake in Super Smash Bros. Melee and another rendition in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and also featured in Super Smash Bros. Wii U. They are all equally well done but I do enjoy the intro to the Brawl version the best. I remember getting Super Smash Bros. Melee for my 11th birthday. It was the first time I ever heard this song when I was playing Adventure Mode. Even though I'm a competitive Smash Bros. player, I'm glad Nintendo didn't forget to add this theme during the Sky Temple stage. Serious song, Lost Woods theme. It was really hard for me to pick a definitive version for the Lost Woods theme to put on this list, but I will mention two of my most favorite. The Lost Woods theme that we've come to know was first debuted in the Nintendo 64 Ocarina of Time. It's an incredible original tune that anybody who ever heard it will not be able to get out of their head. It's very addictive. The version in Twilight Princess was more melodic and jazzy. In some ways, I like it better than the original, but what Gives the original an edge is in this regard is because in Ocarina of Time you get to play this song using the Ocarina. Like Darunia said, this beat is hot, hot, hot.
Song Death Healing Majora's Mask. This is the most gloomy song on the list, and for good reason. It's to be expected because Majora's Mask is arguably the darkest game in the Legend of Zelda series. It's a game which main focus is about healing the different nations and fixing problems of all the citizens that reside in the land of Termina. In the game, you learn a specific song for the Ocarina which can heal anyone's personal problem, more or less, which basically includes curing cancer. There is one particular scene in the game which basically describes a song of healing better than words. In one part of the game, a little girl's father somehow got transformed into a mummified monster that's called a Redead. The little girl is confused and does not know who to go to for help because she's afraid that her father will be killed. Damn, Nintendo, you can't even interrupt these folks. You have to leave the building again just to talk to them. They're really having a moment here. Dark World theme of Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past and A Link Between Worlds. In The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past and a sequel, A Link Between Worlds, you get a parallel world called the Dark World. Actually, in A Link Between Worlds, it's referred to as Low World. There are three different versions of this theme. Version 1 in A Link Between Worlds is a remix of the original from A Link to the Past, but it has a more goofy flavor to it. Version 2 is an orchestrated and triumphant version of the Dark World theme. This one is my favorite version from A Link Between Worlds. It's very colorful and very bright and is very well done overall. But the best version from the Zelda games, I will have to give it to the original from A Link to the Past because this is the darkest sounding theme out of all three, which is the whole point since it's called the Dark World theme. It's not a friendly sounding theme, but it's brilliant. This theme reminds me of I Am Legend for whatever reason. I think the first time I began to play A Link to the Past heavily was when an I Am Legend movie came out. And as an honorable mention, I want to point out that the Super Smash Bros. version of the Dark World theme, which if you take out of context, I feel is the best version of them all. Eastern Palace, Link Between Worlds. This is a remake of the Hyrule Dungeon theme from its predecessor, A Link to the Past. The A Link Between Worlds version of this theme takes a lot longer to get flowing, but it's much more majestic than the original. I was actually hoping to hear this dungeon theme multiple times and not only used once as opposed to being used multiple times in A Link to the Past, except for the themes that were in Hyrule Castle and the Dark World Dungeons. Tino Village Breath of the Wild. 
Kakariko Village theme almost made it on this list. As a matter of fact, I even wrote a script for it, but there are so many themes to choose from, and either way, Kakariko Village would not have made it as high as Hatino Village. I actually ventured to Hatino Village before I went to Kakariko Village when I first played Breath of the Wild. And upon my arrival, I was absolutely blown away by the theme. It almost sounds like the Kakariko Village theme. It's incredibly heart throbbing and soothing to listen to. God, what an awesome track. I also found the night theme for Atino Village equally appealing, but like I said before, I don't want to waste a slot for themes that have multiple versions. Shrine theme, Breath of the Wild. In Breath of the Wild, we're introduced to miniature dungeons called Shrines. Breath of the Wild only had four dungeons outside of future downloadable content, but more than made up for it because not only were the dungeons the most creative we ever had, but we were also given 120 shrines. The downside is that if you're a completionist, you have to hear the same theme 120 times. The upside to this is that it's the sexiest dungeon theme we've ever had in the Zelda game. Just slightly etching out the Zelda 2 dungeon theme and a link to the past dungeon theme. To be honest, I'm not that mad that this is the only shrine theme that we have, but I just wish that Breath of the Wild embraced us with more constant music. The Final Trial Divine Beast theme, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, The Champion's Ballad. In all honesty, I shot this video way back in early October of 2017 and it's not being released until now. I am glad that I did not upload the video because if I did, I would have missed the most brilliant of all dungeon themes in Legend of Zelda. Yes, I've said that about several dungeon themes in this list already. It's slightly better than the original shrine theme from Breath of the Wild. I am really glad that Nintendo gave us a new dungeon theme with the downloadable content for Breath of the Wild. It's exactly what I needed. Rito Village Breath of the Wild. Before I talk about Rito Village Breath of the Wild theme, I must first pay homage to its original form which was called Dragon Roost Island theme in The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Even though the Rito lived on Dragon Roost Island, the theme in Wind Waker wasn't called Rito Village. The theme is still excellent and I still like it better than a few of my picks on the top 20. But the Rito Village theme in Breath of the Wild, oh my god, I need some tissues for this. It gets me every time. As a 26 year old adult, this song still makes you cry. Kind of reminiscent of that Be Happy song.
The theme reminds me of true love and peace. It really reminds me of my wife every time I'm listening to this music. That's how you know you found the one when she reminds you of the Zelda music. Gerudo Valley theme, Broken of Time. Gerudo Valley is one of the most memorable themes from Legend of Zelda, or Queen of Time, and the series as a whole. Even with a track list as brilliant and diverse as the one we had in The Legend of Zelda, or Queen of Time, we still weren't prepared for a theme like this. It's like something out of a western or the Mask of Zora movie, especially the intro. Also given the rendition for the 25th anniversary Legend of Zelda soundtrack, which was an orchestrated overhaul and it's just simply amazing. I'm sure I've said that a thousand times by now about the themes on this list. I don't know why we couldn't get this Gerudo Valley theme in Breath of the Wild. Instead we got this lame and dry theme instead for Gerudo Valley. Even the theme of Twilight Princess wasn't as good as Open of Time, but it was still a good theme. I don't understand why they had to take such a big step down in Breath of the Wild. Hyrule Field Twilight Princess. This is hands down the most intense and vigorous Hyrule Field theme in all the Zelda games. There's a couple layers to this theme and they're all great, but the later half of this theme is the best part. For me, this music really set a benchmark for overall themes in The Legend of Zelda because of the two Zelda games that came after Twilight Princess, which were Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, gave us some of the best overall themes in the franchise. Even though they were on the DS, as a matter of fact, the overall theme from Phantom Hourglass was better than the home console predecessor, The Wind Waker. The Twilight Princess overall theme was given a rendition for the 25th anniversary Zelda album, which is slightly different but equally as good as the end game version. I would like to point out the best version of the Hyrule Field crescendo which is seen in the ending credits of Twilight Princess. Take a listen. This absolutely blows me away. Orcarina of Time ending thing, Zelda's Lullaby. I know as Zelda fans we're very picky about how we rank anything regarding Zelda, but I'm about to shut this down right now and leave no room for debate as to why this theme is number one. If you're anything like me, at least 10 of these themes that made you cry at some point in your life. Perhaps all of them did for whatever reason. Zelda fans just be like that sometimes. I cried a few times just making this list and editing this video. And again, I'm 26 years old, but you know what? I have no shame. Even my wife laughs at me, her loss. You're 26. You said you're 25. <laughs> whatever. No, you should correct your age. Anyway. Back to the list, Zelda's Lullaby is meant to be an emotional theme. Its direct purpose is to soften your heart for the Princess Zelda. I believe the first time we seen this theme was in The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, perhaps in the ending credits. Another one of my most favorite Zelda Lullaby renditions comes from The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. 
But the end all be all version of Zelda's lullaby came from Orkwin of Time. I'm not referring to the time you first meet Zelda in her courtyard. I'm talking about the ending theme for the Legend of Zelda Orkwin of Time. After you save Hyrule from certain destruction, you have a heartfelt conversation with Zelda as she decides to pay you back by sending you back to the past so you can relive your childhood in hopes that you have a peaceful life. Although she accidentally created the split timeline theory within Zelda. The ending credits show us all the areas throughout the working of the time. All the locals are emptied because they want to celebrate at Long Long Ranch. As you begin to come to the realization that you've finally beaten the game, the crescendo begins to surface and it hits you with the most saddest and heart throbbing music you've ever heard. I literally had to leave that part while editing so I wouldn't cry. And then towards the very end of the ending credits, right here after Saria's song, you get this part. Anyway guys, that's my top 10 best, excuse me, that's my top 20 best Zelda themes in the entire franchise. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'm also interested in hearing what your favorite themes are down in the comments. If you like, you check my other Zelda related videos and other top 10s, and it's your boy Brian Mises. I will see you guys next time. Lady, I